Hi, my name is Kristen Nelson, um, and I'm an assistant professor of epidemiology at the Rollins School of Public Health at Emory University. And I hope that you'll come and talk to me about my uh, poster, National Representative Social Contact Patterns in the US from August 2020 to April 2021. Um, and we were interested in the response to the COVID-19 pandemic and how it's changed social contact patterns. Um, and we were in particular interested um, in representativeness of social contact patterns on the national level, and also in reporting differences between contact patterns um, in key demographic groups, since that's something that previous studies have not yet done. Um, so this is a uh, using the COVID view study, which is an address based sample. Um, there are over 3000 people uh, sampled in this study. One person from the household was selected to participate and they were asked to complete a survey that asked about their social contact on the day prior. So we collected a lot of information on their contacts um, the nature of contact, the location of contact. Um, and we know a lot about the uh, participants in the survey. So uh, the uh, results are in the center of the poster. Happy to chat about them if you uh, come by. Um, but basically, we didn't find significant differences in overall contact rates between the two periods that we looked at, August through December of 2020, so sort of pre-vaccine rollout, roll out, um, and March to April of 2021, or during or and after uh, vaccine rollout in the U.S. Um, we found the majority of contacts were reported at work. Um, and uh, while we didn't find changes in contact across those two periods, um, we did find differences in contact uh, by in different demographic groups. Um, and happy to chat about some of that uh, if you come by the poster. Um, one of the most striking findings was that we found pretty significant differences in contact by occupation. Um, and so this wasn't necessarily surprising, um, but the scale of these differences, you know, some occupations accounting for or people in some occupations having 10 times the uh, average rate of contact in the population were really striking. Um, I think this type of data is really important um, as an input into infectious disease models. Um, and so I'd like to talk with uh, those of you who choose to come by um, about how we can collect this in a systematic way, um, you know, both in the context of a pandemic um, and, uh, and otherwise. Um, and so I think, you know, thinking more about how we, um, how we collect this data um, and how we uh, can better use it to inform models um, and make those models more realistic um, is an important uh, area of further research. So hope that you come by um, and looking forward to talking with you about the poster.